Oh my, this horrible shower curtain will not stop sticking to my legs. If only there was someone out there who could explain to me why. Have you ever wondered why your shower curtain drifts towards you in the shower? Well, there's many possible explanations, but today I will be explaining Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle will relate height, pressure, and velocity. We can start by looking at Bernoulli's equation, in which we see how pressure one plus one half rho or density times velocity one squared plus rho times g, the acceleration due to gravity, times h, the height, is equal to a constant value. This means that numbers on both sides of the equations must be equal. So if this side equal to 5, this side must also equal to 5. So we'll note that pressure and velocity are related as they're on the same side of the equation. So if you want to keep the number constant, we can conclude that if the velocity increases, the pressure must decrease in order to make up for that change. So when we apply this to our wonderful shower and shower curtain here, we'll note that since the water is moving, the air will have to have a higher velocity because velocity is speed plus direction. So the air will be moving at a higher speed. And since the velocity is higher, we've established that the pressure must be lower. However, on the other side of the shower curtain, there is no water causing the air to move faster at a higher velocity. So the velocity on this side is lower. And per our logic earlier, if the velocity is lower, then the pressure must be higher, which means that we have a pressure difference. The pressure on this side is higher than the pressure on this side. And this pressure difference causes the shower curtain to move inwards towards the shower. And that is how Bernoulli's principle is a potential explanation for your shower curtain. Thank you. Ah, yes, it all makes sense now.